hey guys welcome back so today is wednesday um let me actually put this volume a bit lower so that it doesn't pick up on any copyrights but today's wednesday and i am obviously working from home um i currently have load shedding so i'm just like hot spotting myself so that i'm able to work um i have it for another 30 minutes sorry about that i have it for another 30 minutes so i'm listening to the radio because my sister's going to be on yfm so i just thought obviously i want to listen in and like support my sister because i'm my like my biggest the biggest fan that my sister has is me but anyways yeah um you guys would have seen from the previous vlog that i got a sew in i feel like it's settled in i just need to blow dry my actual hair because i haven't applied heat since i got the hair done which was last friday yeah that was last friday but i'm very happy about that because then i've realized that this will like stop me from using heat unnecessarily so i'll only use heat like if i'm going out and i need to like re-straighten these and i've been sleeping with a silk scarf before actually putting my bonnet on so yeah i think that also kind of helps like putting a silk scarf on your hair i'm gonna put the um, bendy rollers again just to give it more volume because i noticed that with the bendy rollers it wakes up with like more volume because of the curls but then without it just wakes up a bit flat so yeah i have like terrible period pain like so bad but um i've ordered some stuff off checker 60 i should have actually tried to get some um what do you call it painkillers i don't know if they actually sell some um in terms of like my eczema i feel like it's still getting worse like it's coming down here it went all the way around on my neck and now it's coming down and the only thing that actually ever works for like my eczema is dovate and for that i need to get a prescription from my doctor so i'm just so lazy because like literally i pay for seeing her but she sees me for like five minutes because she already knows that it's my eczema and she just has to write the prescription so yeah i'm gonna wait for my sister to come on and i'll obviously vlog it for you guys but i'm just enjoying sitting on the floor because um yeah sitting on the chair and that other side of the house is very cold so i'm just sitting here enjoying a bit of fresh air and yeah my house was actually clean um because my helper usually comes on wednesdays but she didn't come today because i spent the whole of last week at my sister's um house because of the long weekend so at least i managed to save myself a little few rands here and there for this week's cleaning so i'll just clean on saturday because today's wednesday thursday friday yeah i'll clean on saturday morning like a proper clean but so far it's still clean i have a couple of unboxings to show you guys of the things that i purchased last week i went mean, like on a on a little shopping spree but it never happens so often so like when i do i'm totally okay with it it's not like i do it every week where i go shopping so yeah just wanted to come update you guys on what is going on i've started doing my daily walks um i am doing so far on monday i did nine kilometers more than nine i did more than 10 yesterday i did about fifteen thousand steps i'm gonna go again this evening and then i'm gonna sleep over at my sister's because i'm gonna have load shedding from six till ten so by the time i come back home like i'll have to cook in the dark and stuff which is not gonna be fun so i'll go to my sister's and then i'll wake up and go to the gym there tomorrow morning and then come back home so yeah i'm really enjoying the walks it's just so nice and relaxing like i go there and i watch a vlog and if like somebody's uploaded a one hour vlog before you know it like the time is gone so yeah let us wait for my sister to come on and then we'll listen in together and while we work and also these nine rand tickets let me show you let me just move my work laptop i've been waiting for three hours and it's just saying waiting we like to invite young okay, so movers started. and shakers who are doing really cool things they've the started game. you know okay, here we, go. we sit with them we chat about their cool professions and joining us in studio today Yay! this morning we have the one and only Yay! Yay! and life 
lifestyle influencer. We'll be chatting to her about the transition she made from working full time in corporate, having a nine to five, deciding that, listen, this is not for me. I'm leaving it extreme and I'm doing my own thing. Now she's a full time influencer, which is something that a lot of us actually think about all the time. And we don't know where to start. We don't know how to, you know, uh, talk when we are in front of the camera. So she's in the building. We're going to chop it up with her shortly. Stay tuned. Hi, TG gang. You want to take accountability of the reasons why you had certain habits or the reason why certain things happened. So this is Tangi Gamma, and I am on the morning break with DJ Extreme on Y. Definitely, she's here. She's in the building. Tangi Gamma, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. She Love your smile, like, by the way. Thank you. Yes, yeah, you were smiling from when you walked in, and now we've got you on the show. Yeah. yeah? Tandi Gama in studio, beauty lifestyle influencer. We will be chatting about a lot of things. Her business, her influencing. Now, YouTube was starting to buzz, you know, and social media started, you know, to actually buzz as well. Uh, you making that decision to actually join. I mean, I remember the first time I opened up my Twitter account. It was just to, you know, be on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure it was for you as well. Yeah, so, so, so to monetize it at that time, it wasn't at the back of your head. No, no, no. So when, tell me about that journey. Um, when I went on YouTube, it wasn't to actually make money from it. It wasn't to become an influencer. I went on there because I was a student. Yeah. Um, and I had a side... Uh, gig where I worked as a hostess in Santon at the Big Mouth. So people would come in there and they'd always be like, your makeup is so pretty, your, ma your makeup is so pretty, why don't you work at MAC? I'm like, mm. oh no, I prefer working out, I don't see myself like doing makeup on people. And they're like, okay, but I teach people. Someone said you need to figure out a way of like teaching people because you can make some extra money out of it. Yeah. So I was like, what's a way for me to teach a lot of people at one go and I was like I can basically put my videos on YouTube and if someone asks me about my makeup I'll direct them to my channel and say listen I have content on there um go on there and watch it so when I first put it out there I didn't put it thinking there'll be other people watching it was just a practice in sync with me happy birthday to you <laughs> Hi, Bo, what's going on? The song is not in order. <laughs> What's my... I'm not going to do it. i do it. i do it. i i do Fatima. Not me, six months down the line, 
or almost six months only collecting my license now you guys know i did it in november so i have it now i'm gonna go pay for my traffic fine that i got and get a new disc and then we are free to go hey guys so i got my license disc i'm no longer an illegal citizen on the roads i also collected my driver's license because i was still using that temporary one but now i have my driver's license and it looks nice like the picture looks nice if you guys can see it can focus this picture looks nice the one i had my previous one i took it when i was still in varsity so it looked so bad but i think this one looks so much better doesn't look great like my temporary one looked so nice um but yeah so the only thing left for me now to be a you know like lawful abiding citizen is for me to pay for my traffic fine which is 500 rand i think i can do that online so i'll do that and i should be fine now at least i don't have to panic when i am like when there's roadblocks and stuff but i just thought i would quickly make something to eat because i'm working um but i tried this in the morning i tried this tea for the first time not bad i feel like it does kind of sub press your your hunger so yeah guys i really think i need to book an appointment with my doctor i'm gonna try to do that for either tomorrow let me see if they have an appointment maybe later tomorrow afternoon um because like my doctor that deals with my eczema is quite far from where i am now so i'd need to time it properly in terms of like um, late afternoon traffic but i will try to do that because it's not getting better and then i washed my face i'm just i just don't know what's going on like my skin and winter don't get along i told you guys winter and eczema does not get along like the change from the heat to the cold i, I don't know what the cold does to our skin but i used cerave this morning i'm not sure if it's actually the cerave but i have a rash on my skin so my sister said i should maybe try to take a break and see if that's what's giving me the rash so i might try wash my face again with just my like dove dove bar soap just wash it just to like get rid of everything and then see if it feels better but yeah i just want to quickly make something to eat and then back to working um i have a meeting in the afternoon soon so it's best that i eat but i will unpack um what i got from at home with you guys but i'm sure you guys saw it in the last vlog but i'll obviously just show you guys properly so yeah let me quickly make something to eat and then i'll chat to you guys a little later but i'm excited that i actually got my license and my disc because they were stressing me out so now these cops can stop me and yeah yeah now they can stop me because i don't care hey guys so i haven't really cooked with you guys on this vlog but that's just because i've been going to the gym late coming back and by the time i'm cooking i just want to like quickly cook and eat but here's today's meal so it's like a uh, lamb chops with uh, baby potatoes and salad so i switched up my salad because i don't like radish and i don't eat feta so i basically just put tomato and then um I just fried my baby potatoes a little bit instead of just having them like plain and boiled but yeah this is the meal good morning guys so um, today is Friday I just got back from the gym and I'm about to quickly jump into a quick haul before I actually take a shower but I just thought I'd come say hi I'm actually at my sister's because I was going to be having load shedding from 8 so I knew that I wouldn't be able to shower and um, get ready after gym so I just slept over here I didn't vlog last night um, I only showed you guys what I made to eat my sister's actually still sleeping that's why I'm in the office 
so yeah um my meeting starts in about nine minutes it's just like a short call um and then yeah i'll be able to take a shower get ready for the day um i've done five days of my walking i've been doing the uh three is it three thirty twelve I think but I do it for like more than an hour so I try to get all my 10 steps in a day this week I'm going to try continue it till like I'm gonna try to do it every day basically I'm gonna try to push myself to do it every day in the month of May and hopefully I'm able to do that um, but yeah so far so good so for today I'm currently on 9409 steps so i basically have like less than 600 steps for the day but obviously the nice thing with this is that i will continue counting my steps till evening so i will probably reach maybe 13,000 steps if i take enough walks for the day today maybe 13 14,000, which i'm hoping for because the highest i got this week was on tuesday i reached 15,191 which was great and that totals to 10.67 kilometers not sure if you guys can see because of the lighting but it totals that's what it looks like so i basically closed my rings every day from monday and i'm gonna try to do it till sunday this will be the first time that i actually work out every single day from monday to sunday but i just thought i'd come on here and say hi to you guys um my skin is still irritated i don't know if you guys can see um i don't know if it's the eczema or what i think i just need to go see a dermatologist and like try to figure out what is going on and like these little mini breakouts this is because i was picking it up and bowl a black head rather but yeah just thought i can update you guys and then the eczema as well is still eczemaing it's like getting dark it's moving down it's like very itchy here yeah. anyways i'm gonna get into this call and then we'll get our day started Hey guys, so Tanya and I are friends. Oh, we decided to work. What is it? Work remotely. So yeah, we're just having like a quick yeah, breakfast. Oh, oh, girl is not working. That's her off day today. That's not my off day. I'm here for lunch. Why, why are you so rude? I'm not being rude. I'm saying this to me. What stage are you on in the month? I don't know. <laughs> Because today you're just being difficult. A hangover. She has a hangover from not drinking. She has a hangover from going to events. Guys, I'm telling you, like in old age, like I get hungover from just going to events without even touching a drop of alcohol. I wake up the next morning and I can feel it. I'm drunk. But anyways, I stole these shades from her today, and I think they look nice. Just thought I'd come say hi. Mmm, guys, this smells so yum. So I ordered French toast with pancetta and maple syrup. And then Tandy ordered... What did you order? What did you order? Uh, a, a roast beef baguette. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's got onion. Are you in Paris? Are you eating a baguette? Voilà. Oui. Croissant. It's just missing a croissant. Uh -huh. <laughs> So yeah, that's what she's having and this is what I'm having. And if you guys remember, Paul is actually um, Parisian. So when we were in Paris, if you haven't watched my Paris vlogs, you can go check them out. We did bump into a Paul when we were there. There's something wrong with you. It tastes so good. You know, ever since I wanted French toast at that time, I never actually had it. I know that. Which time? That's when we started working out. Mm. Sorry.
hey guys the lighting is actually not so good when i vlog on this side i don't know why but i just wanted to quickly do the unboxing with you guys just to show you guys what i got so obviously you guys saw this that i purchased from at home um you would have seen i think in the previous vlog but this was 269 and 10 cents and it's just nice and cute to put like in my bathroom and guest bathroom so of course i went for another one because it only made sense to have two because i don't have like a place to put it at and i think for this um anyways i'm not understanding what's going on there but i think it was the same price but it's just that one is a bit shaky and like a bit wonky but i was just like you know what it's just gonna sit in the bathroom and not really fussy and then i got myself a chef's knife is this a chef's knife yes a chef knife and this is 20 centimeters so it's very sharp um i used one at tandy's because i got her one as well it's very sharp so if you actually do get yourself one you need to be like super careful with it but i really like it because other day i posted on instagram and somebody was laughing at my knife and they're like i need to get a proper kitchen knife so i finally did and then i of course got these diffusers that i mentioned i got them in the same scent and these were 2.99 but they smell amazing like when i went into my sister's bathroom and smelled them i was like oh my god so this is what it looks like and it's like so aesthetically pleasing so you can just put it in there obviously in your bathroom have the little reeds sticking out and your bathroom will always smell nice and i think i love it when i visit someone's home and like it smells nice and clean and their bathroom smells nice i should have actually gotten one for my living room but maybe i'll try get like a different scent because i don't want the entire house to smell the same and then um i went into this cam to just get some probiotics and um also this was an immune booster because we're going into like the colder months and obviously some of us with weak immune systems need something to like help us i haven't started taking these but i'll definitely start from tomorrow so yeah um and obviously probiotic are um, good at improving and normalizing the micro microbial balance in the intestines so i got these ones here if you can actually focus on them So I got these here and these are I think 60 of them so it should last me about two months if you actually take one yeah so you take one so this will last me two months which is great then I will refill and this one how many do you take take one tablet daily and there is 30 in here so I'll have to refill at the end of the month but I'm looking forward to trying these can't wait to put this and style it and see how i actually style each bathroom differently obviously it'll have the same like diffuser um the wipes but then i want to like style everything else differently so yeah i'm just gonna pack these away and then i want to make dinner i feel like bap for some reason um i'm like feeling lazy to cook and I feel like BAP, but the only place that I trust to buy something similar to BAP is that Nigerian place I told you guys about and showed you guys. But I think I had BAP on, was it Monday or Sunday? So I don't know if I want to repeat again and have the same thing. Let me decide, but yeah, I'll see what I have. Because my last meal from um, You Cook is like an ostrich bowl or something. So I'll decide, but yeah. I'm gonna change out of these jeans and yeah um like my makeup i tried the lancome foundation the one thing i just need to try get my neck to like be back to the same color as my 
the rest of my body but because of my eczema it's like darkened really badly if you can see so it kind of looks like i'm not matching my foundation when i actually am but yeah um let me figure out what i'm eating before it gets late and it gets too late to like order take out so yeah hey guys just thought i'd come say hi because i was quickly filming a reel a reel and taking photos for a campaign that i have but i'm done now just on time before load shedding because it goes off now at four so i just want to hang my laundry outside the first batch that i did i'm going to do the next one at six when the power comes back um but yeah and then i just want to tidy up the house because it's currently a mess and i need to make sure that it's clean because i have another campaign that i need to film with my mom so i just need to make sure that today and tomorrow the house is clean and that it doesn't get too messy so i'm going to start packing up now charged my laptop so that i can edit whilst there's load shedding and then i made enough dinner yesterday for today so i have dinner for tonight thank god i don't have to cook but yeah it's getting really really cold my face has like a rash you guys can't really see but it has a rash and i used the fit me foundation today how do you guys like it but yeah i'm wearing this top that i got from h&m i really really like it i like the design i think it makes you look very pretty and feminine so yeah i just thought i'd come on here let you guys know that i'm alive it's a saturday i'm going to be announcing another giveaway winner, giveaway winner when the power comes back so yeah let's see who gets to win and what you get to win this time hey guys my power just got back so i just wanted to show you guys something that i got that is also super cute for the winter got these nice fuzzy um sort of like morning shoes from edgar's and they were going for 130 which i think is quite affordable because they they look nice and warm let me try one i won't fit them on when i was there yeah they they're quite comfortable um i got a five slash six because that's my shoe size and then one thing i'm excited about is these cute little um what do you call these mules or what but i got these um and they were 2.99 kits and heels and i love the bow i can't wait to style them i feel like with these you can like style them up or style them down you can either like wear them to work or like wear them when going out on like a very chilled lunch or something with like a pair of jeans and a blazer and i feel like they would just like um zhuzh up your outfit so bright yeah so basically got these in the 300 they also seemed comfortable when i tried them on because obviously it's a kitten heel and the one thing i liked as well was that the strap isn't too tight so yeah i think i can definitely last long in these um yeah i got my regular size size five it is quite a big size five i'd like to think but yeah can't wait to wear these hey guys so i missed my top while i was eating and my gown so i've just decided i'm gonna come remove my makeup because i told you guys my skin is not skinning so yeah i'm just gonna remove my makeup i should maybe remove this top first before yeah let me remove this top first so i'm lazy to put on my pajama top because it's gray as well and it will basically get dirty as i wash but i just want to remove my makeup because i don't know if you guys can see i have a rash or it's my eczema eczema i don't know um But yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I ate pizza that day and it had 
cheese obviously so to remove my makeup i go in with this pons um cleansing balm it reminds me of the clinique take the day off so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative you could definitely get this i love using an oil to just melt down the makeup that way i'm not like stripping and ripping my face apart so as you can see it's like super quick and easy to remove everything from your lipstick like literally everything just melts and then i'll wipe it with a cloth and we will be done instead of like using wipes and wipes and wipes which i hate doing so then what i do is i take a cloth run it in hot water make sure that it's warm so the cloth is warm and then just wipe it off and it's like quick and easy as you can see i know some people are like they love wipes and they'll never like stop using wipes but this is my favorite thing to remove makeup with the only areas I struggle with like when I have lashes because I can't put the balm on my lashes or around my eye area but everywhere else it's fine I always go into my edges because I always rub the foundation in there I've been using this baby wash from Epimax it's um was it a baby wash no it's just a body wash i thought it said baby but because my skin is so irritated this seems to be gentle enough for it i don't know if you can see the rash Hey guys, so I know I said I would pick a giveaway winner in this vlog But I just realized that this is going to be a little bit tricky because I'm not too sure like in terms of hair products If there are people that use that and lovely So I will let you guys comment down below and let me know if you do use like the dark and lovely products Or just mention what your favorite product from them is and then I'll be able to know if those are the possible giveaway winners so i'll basically be giving away this little travel bag that has um about 11 products in here from duck and lovely from shampoo to the waterless cleanser to a moisturizer and um a scalp moisturizer so i will announce the giveaway winner in the next vlog but if you're interested in winning this just comment down below if you use duck and lovely products and i'll know to pick you as the possible giveaway winner so yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye